Hey TechDoc viewers, this is Dan, and this is the Anker Solix 3800 series, um, basically home backup kit uh, that uh, has six additional F3800 series backup batteries all connected to one um, unit here. Uh, I use this as a solar backup that allows me to overflow charging uh, into this Anker unit that I can use as a dedicated Tesla card charger um, for about 20% of my Model Y charge on a regular basis. Now, a uh, couple of features of the Anker Solix um, is that it features multiple outputs, uh, and you can see we have a large 25 amp um, 240 volt output here, as well as some standard connections here um, does have kind of breakers now this is just a standard Tesla mobile charger that allows me to connect this um, I, I do note that if you run this at full 25 amps sometimes this will uh, flip the breaker so I usually charge it at 20 amps um, but that allows that to um, allow me to use the Tesla charger mobile connector into my Model Y now, out of the box, a lot of people, including myself, will notice that this thing faults continuously. And that's probably because you didn't hit this button twice. So you do need to hit that button twice until the white light turns on and that vehicle charging signal comes on too. So what I do with this charger, which also has uh, multiple USB ports and also a car socket out, is that I run this to a smart switch right there and I do that through a power bar here so that during the daytime during solar hours this is also being recharged via my rooftop solar um, and um, through AC and the AC current here allows this to charge uh, this system approximately 30 percent per day um, you can see the input right now is about 30 watts. Um, oh, the 30 watts is actually coming from solar, uh, but the input is actually coming uh, dual also for um, AC, also from AC. And that charges in serial all of these um, additional batteries. So this gives this uh, approximately 4 kilowatts per um extra battery so four times one two three four five six twenty four plus another four here this is almost i think uh almost 26 i think 27 just shy of over 25 kilowatts of energy storage now this can this is the maximum configuration for one system you can uh, chain up to six of these uh, additional backup batteries per system so in a dual system mode you can have up to two uh, of these stacked with additional um, 12 backup batteries. And these batteries are super heavy, uh, lithium uh, ion phosphate batteries, uh, rated for up to basically 10 years of use um, on a daily charge cycle basis. Uh, these can also be stacked on top of here as they kind of fit there as well. There's a handle for this heavy thing to be pseudo mobile, although frankly, uh, this thing is being so heavy is just left here and connected in series with all of these um, each of these ex external batteries or extra batteries are daisy chainable you can see how one daisy chains to another daisy chains to another daisy chains to another all the way back to the initial power unit here um, this is our ac input that's on a surge protector and then this does take two solar inputs as well so what's cool if you look at this goes to my solar line and we walk this all the way outside to the side solar panels. So let's go ahead and take a stroll. So I have this coming through a solar line all the way to the side of the house. Comes out over here and into the backyard over here. So these are rated as 400 watt solar panels. Uh, this is kind of the side alley here. So at peak, uh, sun this can get about 200 watts so I know it's rated 400 watts but uh, you know unless I put this flat outside in the sun right now it's only generating 60 watts so 
Um, these Anker panels, you're going to need a ton of these if you want to primarily power your batteries with these. Um, and since they're kind of like a felt and floppy uh, stand, they're good for perhaps, you know, RV or camping use. But as a permanent fixture, they're not the greatest panels um, that I would keep around the house. Um, your rooftop solar and more rigid panels are going to do a better job there. However, for the purposes of being able to be being able to be off the grid, you can take this whole unit uh, portable and charge it. Um, you know, even just with the base station up to about uh, three plus kilowatt hours on here. So. Yeah, I guess technically you could take that camping and disconnect the additional batteries. I'll take whatever solar trickle I can get in here. Um, and again, with our 50 plus uh, rooftop solar during the daytime, we're generating excess solar. So using a smart plug, I have a CASA, uh, TP, uh, yeah, it's, I believe the CASA smart plug here that is timed and it turns this on, which starts it to charge. And then basically at nighttime, I'm able to switch this on and drain off any excess into the Tesla via the mobile connector. So you can think about my setup here as basically a rain barrel, uh, or if you will, a solar barrel for all the extra solar that I don't necessarily just want to sell back at lower rates to the, um, my um, energy provider. So I'm going to harvest the extra here I do have three Tesla power walls, uh, and that's rated at 40 something kilowatts, but on some sunny days, I can generate up to 80 kilowatts. So this overflows about 20 plus kilowatts into an independent bank here that I can transfer back into the Tesla. Now, you're gonna lose, what, 10% uh, just through heat dissipation. And one of the things is that this is only rated to like 104 degrees. Um, so when it does start discharging, uh, you got fans that kick in and there's thermal throttling as well, just to make sure that this whole unit doesn't overheat. But overall, so far, it's doing the trick. Um, this whole setup here costs a pretty penny. Um, this unit here, is about 3,000 for, and I think about 2,000 for each of these uh, additional uh, units. But if you do the math, that's like $12,000, $15,000 of battery storage, uh, which is the equivalent cost of about a power wall installed in our neck of the woods. So uh, for double the capacity, you're getting about twice the power wall capacity uh, for the price of one installed uh, power wall. And um, this is also portable with, uh, so you could use this theoretically um, camping, um, as a energy generator, uh, or a backup generator, um, to individual units. There is a switch box that you can get, but it's just a directional switch box. So I don't believe it's smart. Um, problem with that switch is that you basically have to kind of kick it in, uh, when your power usage is not, um, when you're off the grid and you want to direct the Anker, um, switch back to uh, as a primary generator. Uh, our Tesla gateway and all that stuff is already too complicated, so I just opted to leave this Anker system off from the tied-in uh, house grid, but uh, serves the purpose of taking extra solar and getting it on a daily basis into my Tesla, which is our main power sink, and actually serves as a nice backup uh, for our house should we ever... Um, lose power and run out of power wall batteries. So uh, it does take in this configuration um, about because limited by the AC charge, uh, which is about 2000 or two kilowatt hours uh, of charging. Um, so about eight hours a day, uh, this takes about three days to fully charge and a full charge gives me about 20% um, of my Tesla Y charge. So those of you guys thinking about this as a, uh, again, a solar rain barrel for your Tesla, it works. Although this is probably not something that you'll want to use as a primary system. I'd invest in rooftop solar and Tesla uh, batteries, but for a expansion opportunity, certainly um, doable. Uh, installation is just plug and play, literally. And um, this may even qualify according to Anker for the solar tax credits as um, it does um, qualify by its wattage. Uh, each battery is over 3,000 or so watts, which is one of the IRS stipulations. Although there is some um, variability 
and interpretation on install rec requirements. Well, as you can see, we've installed this, but does not require uh, any additional um, work to install this as a standalone system. Uh, for what it's worth, leave your comments, your questions regarding this setup. Um, and um, thanks for watching our demonstration and review of the Anker Solix uh, F3800 power station.